Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Thursday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Thursday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Right, so we have another problem here and it says find the perimeter of a quadrilateral with vertices A, negative 2, negative 2, B, negative 1, and 3, C, 5, and 3, and D, 4, and negative 2. Um, one of the biggest hints in this problem is actually the word quadrilateral because quad means four so we have a shape with four sides and unlike the other problem this one's actually pretty long but again our approach towards solving these problems should be the same we have to take everything step by step um, so in order for us to have a better understanding from this problem I'm going to plot the points in the coordinate plane so just to see what we get so So this is going to be my y-axis, and this is going to be my x-axis, and then my point A is sitting at negative 2, negative 2, so negative 2, negative 2, that's my point A. My point B is sitting at negative 1 and 3, so negative 1, then 1, 2, 3, so this is point B. Um, point C is sitting at 5 and 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, so I should be right there. And my last point, point D, is sitting at 4 and negative 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4 and negative 2, 3, 4, all right my point D and then this is my point C so let's connect these points together now all right, all right uh, so we have some weird squ squarish shape um, this is not necessarily a square or a rectangle it's just a odd looking you know quadrilateral now, in order for us to find the perimeter, we have to find the length of each side. Then we have to add the sides together because our problem is asking for a perimeter and perimeter pretty much means like the boundary of our shape. So we have to add AB and then BC and then CD and then AD together. So we have to essentially add all these sides together in order to get our answer. And no, you can't just pick a ruler and, you know, put it here and then measure each side and then add it together. It's a lot complicated than that. One of the things that we can do, though, is we can use the distance formula since we have all the vertices. And then we can just, you know, pick our points. Actually, let's do this. So we're going to use the distance formula. So let me write the formula here. So D equals we have square root of delta x um, squared plus delta y squared. All right, so this is pretty much the distance formula. Um, you know, delta pretty much means x2 minus x1. Actually, let me write it. So this is going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y sub 1 square all right so this is our distance formula all right and then let's see we can pick the point a b here so we have line a b right there and uh, let's get the vertices so a b so a b starts from the point a and the coordinate for point a is negative 2 negative 2 so it's going to be negative 2, negative 2. For point B, we have negative 1 and 3. Negative 1, negative 1, oops, negative 1 and 3. 
All right, so this was point AB. Now we have to figure out uh, the line BC. So we have BC. So what is the coordinate for our B? So we have negative one and three. So negative one and three. And for C we have five and three. So five and three so point a b point b c now point c d so for point c the coordinate is five and three and d is four and negative two four and negative two all right and for um, so we did AB, we did BC, we did CD, now we have to do AD. So AD, I know our point A is sitting at negative 2, negative 2. And then point D is sitting at 4 and negative 2. Sitting at 4 and negative 2. Alrighty, um, now we have to use the distance formula to get the what is it the distance so we need to find pretty much the what is it the measure of point a b and then measure of point i mean, not at that point the line b c and then measure up the line c d and then measure of the line a d so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do the distance formula for the first example and then i'm just gonna pause the video do it for the rest of it just to save time and then we're gonna go from there so let's do it for point a b so again, I'm going to write the formula first. So we have x2 minus x1 or delta x squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And for point AB, I'm just going to name my points. Let me get another Sharpie. All right, so I'm going to name this x1, y1, and then I'm going to name this x2, y2, all right? So here we have x2, which is going to be negative 1, minus x1, which is going to be negative 2. Don't forget your square root. So this is squared plus your y2 is 3 minus y1 is negative 2 squared let's see negative times a negative it's a positive so it's negative 1 plus 2 you're going to get 1 squared plus and then negative times a negative it's positive again so 3 plus 2 you're going to get 5 and then 5 squared so let's just write it so 5 squared so you're going to get square root of uh, 5 squared is 25 plus 1 squared, which is going to be 1, so we're going to get 26. So point AB, the measure of point AB is square root of 26. And then we have to apply the distance formula for the rest of our lines. And then when we get our point, I mean, when we get our measurements, we have to add them together. So I'm just going to pause the video here. I'm going to add everything together and then we'll be back. So we're back again. I know this is a bit of a tedious problem, but it's worth solving it. So let's get a quick recap here. Um, first, we plotted our points, then we connected them together, and we got a weird looking you know, square. And we used the distance formula to find the length of each side. And now all we have to do is add everything together since the question is asking for a perimeter. So have to add A, B, plus BC plus CD plus AD equals P. So PT means perimeter and T means total. So PT perimeter total. And then now, so we have rat 26 plus six plus rat 26 plus 6. So now 6 plus 6 is going to give me 12. So 
I'm going to have 12 plus rad 26 and then again it's going to be plus rad 26 and now I can just say 12 plus 2 rad 26 and since I don't have any units here the problem I'm just going to write U for units so U and there you have it I mean you could simplify this more you could plug in 26 into your calculator and then you know find the square root and then multiply by 2 and then add it by 12 but it's going to get messy so I'm not going to get there but this is this is a pretty simplified answer as most teachers accept that but if you want to go more you just have to plug in 26 into your calculator get the square root and then multiply by 2 and then add 12 then you're going to get your final answer and make sure you write u for units you know some teachers mark you off if, if you missed that there you go. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Thursday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Thursday, happy studying.